You ever go to fish bowl? <laughs> it's good, eh? You get to customise your own bowl. Choose your own protein. Is there any more dystopian phrase in the English language than choose your protein? <laughs> it sounds like the last decision the robots will let us make. They'll be like, choose your protein, move to the next window. <laughs> and we'll be grateful, we'll be like, how good is it how you get to choose your own protein? I enjoy having a bit of autonomy in the gulag. I was on the fence about my protein. <laughs> Neutral. I don't give a fuck if the robots take over. I'm autistic, they'll hire me as an interpreter. <laughs> they'll be like, why do they cry? <laughs> yeah, I've got no idea, eh? I, I just look like them. That's where it begins and ends, okay? I need an interpreter. I haven't understood a metaphor since I got the booster shot. All I'm seeing is indistinct chatter. <laughs> no, but do you ever be watching a movie with subtitles that'll come up with indistinct chatter? <laughs> Even if you're deaf, who can like... It's as if the person writing them is like, Even if you could hear this, you wouldn't be able to. <laughs> no one can hear this bit. We're all in the same boat. <laughs> Builds a sense of community across all hearing levels. It's like taking a blind guy to a black hole. Nothing to see here, mate. Just a complete absence of everything. If you want to hold my hand, you can howl into the void. It's over. <laughs> Rathy's here. It's a callback to a joke I haven't done yet, but yeah, I... <laughs> Fucking hell. I'm doing my set in reverse time. I'm the Benjamin Button of my own... Do you guys remember dumb nerds? From school? You know, they'd have glasses, but then they'd be like <laughs> Yeah. Dumb nerds get bullied, and in America they do these school shootings, which I think are inappropriate. But... <laughs> dumb nerds can't do that here because of gun laws. They have to join a medieval reenactment group. <laughs> no need to apologise, my lord. It's only a flesh wound. <laughs> Inside every one of them is a rain of bullets restrained by legislation. <laughs> Smart nerds, they get bullied, they move to Silicon Valley, build a robot to replace their bully's forklift driver job. <laughs> you excluded me from handball, I've ostracised you from the global economy. It's over, Gary, you're irrelevant. <laughs> then Gary's got no self-esteem, he gets hooked on fentanyl. Ends up turning the gun on himself. <laughs> no, it's a long-term school shooting. <laughs> like you invest, you invest. It's a superannuation of revenge. It's a long... <laughs> and then at the very end, you outsource. <laughs> that was his head. I don't usually do impressions, but that... <laughs> but Google's free, eh? <laughs> the thing with Google, it's free, but... They know everything about you. So your privacy is the currency. But I just wish you could buy other products by telling people deeply <laughs> personal information. You just go to the cafe, you're like, yeah, I got a micro penis. It's free now. <laughs> You've actually overpaid with that, so throwing an arm and cross on. Because I got herpes. You can have the whole cafe. This is now you're the owner operator of a Starbucks. But people complain about targeted ads. They're like, ooh, I mentioned Adidas and then I got an ad for a shoe. It wouldn't be exactly like that, but like, <laughs> at least they've got a target. Like at least they've got a sniper rifle just pointed at your subconscious. TV commercials have no respect for my interests. <laughs> I'm six years old getting ads for renovations. Funeral homes, you're not even getting into the bowl. You're pissing all over the floor. <laughs> Targeted ads are custom designed to my needs. I'm getting ads for extra small condoms. <laughs> Skin cancer support groups, like, you hit the bullseye, Bezos. Oh, they're spying on me. At least they're listening. <laughs> Your husband doesn't give a fuck. He's on Grinder, hanging out with me at Grilled, eating zucchini chips. <laughs> Shit. This is a nasty ass motherfucker. <laughs>